Welcome everyone. Congratulations to the Jessica. Um, I can't believe you guys are actually married. This is obviously a once in a lifetime opportunity for you guys. For me, this is the experience of a lifetime. You stand up, you get Tim Hell, and I'll be able to talk back. <laughs> Everybody in this room is jealous of me right now. Dad, Dad feel free to live like this if you're really nice to me. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Tim's younger brother. Let me read it. Younger brother, not little brother. That's always the soft spot for Tim. Along with his inability to grow cyphers or patient hair, he's right here. <laughs> somehow, Jessica still saw something that made me face of his. Jessica, words cannot describe how great you look tonight. You're beautiful. Can we get a round of applause for us? Awesome. <laughs> one, one more round of applause for my troops, aka the small army up here that Tim and Jessica need to fight for. Seriously though, Tim, I know I speak on behalf of our whole family. I say how proud of you we are and how honored we are to have Jessica officially joined our family. Tim and I first met in the 80s. <laughs> since then, I've always looked up to him. Whether in sports or playing video games, I've always wanted to do everything and give where he was. I even sucked by you through your bullet years. <laughs> However, once he tried to grow his hair out like Scott Disick at 29, that's when I knew I had to do. Being the youngest of four is something I wouldn't change for the world. A lot of fun memories are coming up these three pumps. But for Ryan, Kelly, and I, the hardest part was Tim being our dad's favorite. And I always loved reading up Tim's messages. From the time Tim shoved the BB up his nose, then he got to the ER, ER, until the time he got his hand stuck in a rocking chair. Tim was more than a problem child. Let's not forget that Tim may be the only child in America that has ever tried to underdog a teeter pot. <laughs> There's five stitches in the top of his head. <laughs> oh, and that time you crashed the car and three other cars in the high school parking lot? Dad, I agree. What was all that damn boombox's fault? <laughs> I will say he did grow up in his 20s until so that one day we saw him, we saw Justin Bieber in the mall. And Tim made me take a picture of it. <laughs> now he has moved on to bigger and better hobbies, like buying shoes for his shoe room, yes, shoe room, <laughs> watching Dateline reruns, and shopping for home accessories. <laughs> He's really grown into the man I want him to be. <laughs> Through all of that, I will say, the only person that could ever keep him in line and out of trouble is my mother. So Jessica, on behalf of my mother, all I can say is good luck. That's <laughs> key. <laughs> Seriously though, in all honesty, the first thing, when I sat down to write this speech, the first thing I thought of was best friend. <laughs> You've always been there for me, no matter what. For sure, it's kids. <sighs> to help me raise me to be the man I said, I thank you and always be there for you. But just remember, you still can't beat me one on one. I'm always at one on one to you. We did get one home run, and that's with Jessica. Jess, we're the one that wants to be doing, keep up our path of life. When I think of you, Tim, I always think of the way you make them light up. I'll never forget the first time you came to our hometown and how proud Tim was to show you off to all of our family and friends. From there, I knew you'd never look back. Not to mention you make a mean three and postcard nacho platter. You decided to get on the See the way you guys interact in the past couple of years and joy you bring each other. I have no doubt that sure, you guys are perfect for each other. I don't sit better than anybody in this world. And if he's half, half the husband, he is a brother, and I can honestly say you're set for life. However, Ryan and I would like to apologize. You did get the least athletic and worst thing you ever did. I'm sure you're 
wondering what Sam's going to say to me after he hugged out right after the speech. But if I know I'm not going to think I can, it would be three words. Hey, that's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we can all raise our glass, say to Jessica, may you always be a team, and may you always be each other's biggest fans.